Today we're going to do a little tutorial on Tango Tiller Soar by Tom Waits. Uh, we're going to try to do the intro today and get a little bit of that down and show you how that's working. So let's jump right on into it. We got our left hand. He's kind of using a back and forth pattern, all one hand. So we're playing an F minor. We're going to start on the F right here and we're going to give it... There's our triad and then we're going to put the five down here. Come back to our top three. And we're going to use that pattern for the other chords too. We're going to use a couple other patterns. We kind of do that, and then we come down here and do it on the B flat. I'm off the screen a little bit, but that's an F down in the bottom. Oops. And then when you go to C, I actually don't think he does it anymore. I think he kind of does one of these guys. And then he comes back to that F pattern. So he's kind of got that happening. Now the right hand is of course the really interesting part. You're going to do something that kind of sounds like this. That'll get us to the first bit. So notice right away he does is a super dissonant tone. I'm guessing it's this one, but it's kind of a cluster. So I'm hitting both these two together. Like kind of the real line would be something like... That would be like the clean line. And I can't tell if it's a mistake or if he's just, you know, honky-tonk piano doing the cool Tom Waits thing. But So instead of playing, I'm kind of putting a cluster here with my one thumb and just hitting both of them. Yeah, so the, the clean line would be like C, B flat, A flat, C, G. I'm kind of giving the cluster of C and B. And then B flat, A flat, C, G. And even the G I'm making clean, but he kind of has a on that one too. So you kind of just put the half step below with it. And then he comes up and walks up this chord. B flat, E flat, G flat, G. So, so far we got. And then you're going to kind of hit that G and come back down. Right back down. So you got. And then right the next note. So that's everything on the F chord. Kind of sounds like this together. Okay. So that's everything on the F minor chord. Here we change to the B flat minor. Okay, so after that happens, once we get to the B minor, we kind of do a. So even just that little bit on the B minor, B flat minor chord, excuse me, B flat minor chord, we're playing. We're holding an E flat and then a D flat, and then we're going to do a quick B flat, A flat, B flat. So it's just those four beats right there. One. It's a quick B flat minor. Then we're going to go to the C. And the C, I pull up here, the melody comes way down lower, and it starts on C and does this cool half step movement. Right, so all we're doing in the right hand there is C, B, C, D flat, C, B, C, D flat, C, kind of that movement back and forth. And then I'm just bouncing. So the bass note's not changing here. This is what I'm hearing. Right, and once you get there, that's all there is. So then we go from the B flat. That's the B flat minor and the C7, C dominant. Here we go. And then right there we go back to F. All right, and then on the F chord here, this F is going to go all the way to the end of our intro period. Uh, so we're just going to hang out on this F and kind of bounce back and forth. 
that pattern we've been doing. We stay on F there. And the right hand is a little bit like this. It goes... And I'm going to stop there because I want to tell you that's an F I'm hitting off the screen here. It's very close, but I wanted to get everything in. So that F up there at the top of the screen, that's a quick F, and then we're coming right back down. So this, this bit goes... D, D flat, C, B flat, A flat, G, F. I'll do it one more time. And then the next part continues right from that. There's really not much stop, but I wanted to show you that F that was off the screen. So this one, here we go. And then we have that little the little next section goes. So it's kind of like F, A flat, F, D flat. All right, so so far we have. Okay. And then after we get to that part, we're kind of going to. Right, so we go F, A flat, F, B flat, and then A flat, B flat, D flat, C, B flat, A flat, G, A flat, B flat, D flat. So I know that's a little quick, but you're kind of just, you know, he's playing around the F minor scale there. Right, so here I'll show you how it goes. Right, it wasn't exact. I'll play one more time. Here we go. Right, and that's where he starts singing right there. So we're gonna do it one more time. I'll try to play that that second section there, all over that F chord towards the end of the intro. And he'll start the song, and we'll get into what he does during the verse uh, in the next video. This shit is a great uh, exact copy of what he's doing. I might have got a couple notes wrong here and there. Um, he does use a lot of the those clustery things. He's trying to make it sound honky tonk. It's a really neat intro, and I'm pretty sure it's a lot of him just kind of playing on it. So you could even get away with if you don't want to do exactly what he's doing and we can talk about how to improvise in another video but you can kind of just play around the F scale and use that back and forth and it'll sound a lot like the intro it'll certainly be a nice little tune even if it's not exactly what he's doing so uh, let me know if you have any questions. Write them down in the comments if there's anything uh, going on. Check out the other videos in this playlist to figure out I'm going to do uh, what he kind of does under the verse, you know, what you could do. We'll sing a little bit of it, and then I'll teach you how to play the melody he's singing over the chords too so that you could play it instrumental if you wanted to. Thanks for coming around, and I uh, hope you come back soon.